is, don't you? Of course I do. Three three six. That's the game, baby. For the sun, got it going high. I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start. I ain't tripping on stunts. What is going on guys? Joe and 336 Mob Mafia, we are back baby. Now, for a bunch of questions that's about to get answered right now, when is that build fixing to start? I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, she's on her way. We've got parts coming in, y'all check this out. So I know normally we go ahead and build this thing and then show you guys the finished product, but I could not wait any longer to show you guys the parts that's came in. Over here we have RJWC shifters. We have new mountain brackets, new hand guard, grips another box of goodies some grip glue and some lug nuts and those lug nuts happen to be for these wheels and tires look at what we picked out guys you guys said black and machined so we went with some black and machined MSA wheels set on 32 inch assassinators by super ATV because you know guys everything we run on our renegades has got assassinators so with that being said we have not got all our parts in just yet so that big tall box over there that is actually a new exhaust for this blue outlander now we threw a poll up about what exhaust should we run and about everything we have has got RGWC or Empire exhaust on it so I want to change it up. We used to have an exhaust on Blackgate that was HMF that is exactly what we went with right there. HMF exhaust to go on the Blue Outlander. We're going to have it tuned and flashed by Mr. RPM these parts are rolling in so as soon as we get our last piece in guys it is time to tear that unit down and make a Mud Mafia Edition Outlander. Now before we get going guys on this today's video I have got a pack package that came in that I have got to show you guys. Now we have been expecting that box for quite some time now. Um, it's uh, actually a friend of us we, we met through Instagram. His name is Zachary Ray. He owns Carnage Cords. Now if you guys remember back in the day we used to be sponsored by Mud Bandit straps that used to hook on all of our machines. In case you get in a sticky situation you gotta get pulled out. You guys have definitely gotta go show some support to my man over at Carnage Cords on Instagram. I'll put his name right here below and right here on the screen and in the description. He has definitely hooked us up. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. All right, first things first, what I see in here is some decals from Carnage Cords. That is his logo, guys. If you're having trouble finding him on Instagram, look for this logo right here, Carnage Cords. He makes all this stuff, I'm guessing in-house or in his shop, whatever, but he makes it custom for whatever you want on your four-wheeler. Oh, these are pretty freaking cool, dude. Look at this. We got Bumblebee, Aqua Gate, and Gold Gate. That is freaking sick. Look at this right here. Look at that, gold and black strap for gold gate. That is absolutely sick. I am digging that a lot. I can't wait to see this put on there and probably put to use, just like that time at Busco a couple videos ago in that nasty mud hole. I could have probably used this big time. Of course you gotta have the little packing bubbles in there. You gotta pop them too. That color is so freaking cool, dude. Look at this right here, y'all. Check that out. White and teal to match Aquagate. That is so freaking bad. Oh my gosh. He freaking killed it with the colors, dude. Like he, he matched them up almost spot on perfect. Last but not least, you can't forget one of the longest running four wheelers on the channel, Bumblebee. He has matched it up again, once again, perfect. Black and yellow for Bumblebee. Look at that strap, y'all. That is amazing. This guy does really good work. It's very high quality, and it looks like to be is pretty strong. It's like that paracord stuff. You know good and well it's pretty dang strong. And I'm, we're, we're gonna put it to the test, don't you worry. You know how we get stuck sometimes and we gotta get pulled out. Oh look, my favorite part of the package is more, more bubbles. And some more. Perfect. All right, I wasn't even gonna put them on yet, but it didn't take no time to install these things, guys. I had to go ahead and stick it on there and see what they look like. Guys, check these carnage cords out. So first of all, on Golga, we have it mounted on Golga, that gold and black carnage cord hooked to the upper Lucky 7 rear rack. Then we have Aquagade done the same exact way. And we cannot forget about Bumblebee. She is done the same way as well. But this guy even offers even more than just straps. Look at these pull straps and little key tags. Golga has its key tag along with 336 Mud Mafia key tag, the pull strap, Aquagade's very own key tag with the Mud Mafia key tag, and a pull strap. And of course, Bumblebee with its own key tag and its own pull strap. Check out Carnage Cords. Get yours custom made today to match your color of whatever your bike is. I'm telling you, just get it made. He can do it. And it's pretty fast and very easy to install. Now, let's get into the video on why we have that in the middle and why we're about to pull Aquagade right in the middle. So as you guys know, Aquagade completely dusted Goldgate on the last video. If you guys don't remember, I'm going to throw a little clip up really fast. So 
So yeah, I get this thing absolutely took it to Golgate. We didn't know it was gonna be that much faster. But this, on the other hand, before it gets built, it is on these little bitty tires, 26s. This thing hit a top speed of 79 mile an hour before being tuned in flash. Now it is currently still not tuned in flash. Now this one, when we was teaching KK how to willy, we actually got 76, I believe, out of it on 32 inch assassinators. Three mile an hour slower than the Outlander. 79, I saw it. Now these 32 assassinators are pretty freaking heavy to be, you know, an ATV tire. So what we've got, we've got a brand new set of cryptid takeoffs, 30 inch tires, to compete with the blue Outlander. Those are 26s, but, but, there's a big but right here. This thing has been tuned and flashed by Mr. RPM, where that one's all stock hitting 79. 76 on 32 inch assassinators, I'm pretty positive we can get 79, 80 with the 30 inch cryptids on that instead of the 32 inch assassinators. We're gonna try it out at least. With Aquagate being the winner of between Gold Gate and Aquagade, we're going to race these two now before that one gets built. We're going to race the Outlander and Aquagade. Oh yeah, that is a much, much smaller tire, and they're brand new at that too, Cryptids, but that is a much smaller tire than those Super ATV Assassinators. Let's go ahead and take those off and slap these babies on. Alright guys, that thing looks really freaking ridiculous with those little bitty tires on. I mean, look at this thing. I'm so glad we went with assassinators to begin with and powder coated the wheels because that thing looks ridiculous. But this should give us enough power in this bike and speed to keep up with that one. If not, actually beat it. Like I said, Aquagade has been tuned and flashed with exhaust where the Outlander back there is all stock. But with it being all stock, it still has more miles per hour than the Aquagade did with, but it was also on 32 assassinators. So you got to give it some credit. So now we got these little bitty cryptids on there against the Outlander. Let's go ahead and get suited up and uh, we'll pick you guys up when we're ready to race. I really want to make this race like a whole lot more in depth and in detail other than how we did the Aquagate and Golgate because it was kind of obvious who was going to win between the two Aquagate and Golgate. You had a clapped out four wheeler versus a brand new 1000 Renegade. Of course, Aquagate should have won that and, and, and it did, of course. But you know, now we have a brand new Outlander XT, much lighter, much smaller tires where the Outlander is completely stocked. But you guys said it just as well as I did, that thing absolutely rips. It gets down 79 versus 76. That's a three mile an hour difference. Now what we're looking at is a torque. What's going to have more torque taken off? What's going to get off the line faster? Who's going to get to the finish line first? Like before, Aquagate, even being on the 32 assassinators, was still run like, it was like 70, 72 we got it up. But it took a while to get there. But now with the 30s, I think it might get it. It's going to be close for sure, especially with the limiter on the XT and then the uh, Renegade being, have Mr. RPM's tune on it, exhaust, everything. I think it's going to be close. All right, so I'm very familiar with Aquagate, but I've seen what the Outlander can do. So it's gonna be good, but I'm going with the Outlander up top. I gotta go Team Aquagate on this one. As much as I wanna stick to the Renegade game, I think the Outlander might just get it. I hate to be negative on Aquagate. Team Outlander, baby. Team Aquagate, cause it's fine. <laughs> Team Outlander. Team Outlander. Well, it's only us two, me and KK, that's voting for Team Aquagate. Let's show this Outlander how it's done. So we got them both lined up and uh, I know Jay Money, he's down there getting ready right now and I gotta get ready myself, but I don't care what the odds are against us. Like we have everybody voting Team Outlander. I'm telling you right now, I rode both of them. Outlander is nasty, yes, don't get me wrong. But the way Aquagate performs, it's unlike any other, man. I mean, I'm, I'm Team Renegade all the way. I'm gonna be Team Renegade to the day I die, man. I love Renegades. Not taking up from the Outlanders, it's, it's a beast. Look, I don't care what tires he's got, what tune, whatever. I think the Outlander is a sleeper. I think he's gonna get Aquagade, not gonna lie. Hate to say it, but I think he might get it. But like Jay Money's gonna have his hands full messing with Aquagade. I'm not letting them get to me in my head. Jay Money keeps on talking big and bad about this Outlander, but I'm gonna ask him how these RJWC tail lights look whenever I go by, I'm patting the gas on them. <laughs> well, I don't know if Jay's ever been beat by a utility fool or not, but this might just be his first. Um, like on a Defender, I don't have hazards on this, so when I do beat him, I can't flip the hazards on him. But 
this might be his first time seeing Outlander tail lights in front of him. He can talk all that he wants, I don't care. Do you hear anything running over there? Listen. I hear a fuller running now, you know what I mean? I ain't worried about no Outlander. thought that Jay was actually running with me that time and uh, I was I had him I had him beat with aqua gaze come to find out he wasn't low but still even that off the start that was super close oh, yeah. I was in high you know lows are more of a pulling range but I still was really really close to him and I was like I don't know why he's dropping back so far but I wasn't letting out I was like, I'm gonna make sure he knows aqua gaze just won <laughs> let's try it again with both the fours and high this time Jay money was a really close one was it not four wheel drive was where yeah he about got me yeah four wheel drive i about had it to him i could not touch that outlander in two wheel drive there was no way because he was absolutely cooking in two wheel drive seriously i couldn't i Uncle Gay didn't have nothing for him in two wheel drive but we went to four wheel drive i thought i'd beat him though but he was already in low i don't know what he was doing in low you know he was playing around with me i think just trying to get my hopes up and then we both get back in high four wheel drive and uh that was a that was that was a, that was a close race that was fun that was fun that was a whole lot more of a close race than gold gate and aqua gate yeah yeah gold gate couldn't hold a candle of these two right now right now let it get done and then, and then we'll bring them back out here well that's going to wrap up this video guys i'm pretty sure outlander had it in two-wheel drive i think uncle gay may have had it in four-wheel drive yeah maybe we could swap the tires on them maybe we could take the tires off of the outlander and put it on the aqua gabe that's even even smaller tires and put a little bit more weight on the outlander and the tune and the exhaust and I, I, I think it's pretty close it's, it's really close, close with four-wheel drive two-wheel drive i couldn't stop spinning which i seen you over you were popping up willies it's hard to keep it down for sure but like i said guys go check out carnage cords on instagram and y'all get ready for this outlander build dude it's gonna be freaking sick we, we're doing about everything that all our fans want to see all the comments y'all left us we're using those parts on that outlander when we start building it about what about a week or two everything gets here we're gonna throw it on everything gets here we'll be throwing it on you guys share the video around make sure you subscribe leave a like and a comment and we'll see y'all on the next one